Ladies and gentlemen, I want Italian. After I think about seven years, I finally put our wedding picture back up on the wall. And also, put that clock up. I'll get a better close-up of that. That's really about all the light I have here, but you can certainly read it. Uh, it's a Harco brand, Quasarts. But uh, this is a uh, Quasart. Quasar is, is Q U A R T Z. Quasart. Yes, there it is. Quasar. Quasar. This one's a Quasar. It's also a Quasar. Here's another Quasar clock. Here it is, right here. Another Quasar clock. Uh, this one is a Quasars. Quasars. What is he at the end? Zars or whatever it's called. It says regulator. It takes two AA batteries. Uh, one is your simple uh, Quasars movement. And the other one has an electromagnet. And you just give the pendulum a swing and it keeps itself going kind of as a perpetual motion type thing. We had this clock since we had our apartment. So this thing is pushing 15 years. And it still works just as well as it did day one. And then I got some more Himalayan salt lamps. So we put that in here. And here's the other one. They don't look the same because they never will. They're not supposed to. And they just stay lit up all the time. So that's just what it looks like now. They just stay on. They don't impede your vision watching TV or anything like that. It's just plainly perfect. They're nice. They give a nice ambiance when the room lights are off and it doesn't bother you watching TV. It's great. This here is a painting. The Whiff actually painted this. Yes. When she brought this home and told me that she made this, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to hang it on the refrigerator. Ha ha ha. No, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe that she actually did this, but she painted this herself, and uh, there you are. So we put that in to dress up the wall a bit. The idea is eventually she'll paint another one, which we'll put probably over here, maybe. And there's this painting also, sort of a nice by-the-waterside scene. I don't know what to say, really, by a lake or something. We bought this at a corner flower shop when we used to live in our apartment. And uh, that used to hang on the wall right here. You can see it's a big open space, so it fills up the wall nicely here, so it's not as boring. So that was it. I spent a couple of bucks and got a couple uh, more Himalayan salt lamps. And uh, it was fun trying to wire those in because this furniture thing is absolutely immovable. There is not a chance of moving that. Also picked this up in our travels. It's just a, an hourglass, as you see, but it has a special little party trick. When you put it here, they are iron filings and they do magnetic teeth things because it's a magnet type thing see so that's kind of cool we'll just let that finish its thing which should be just another second or two over here a couple more than a couple of seconds or two that's it and then when you lift it it goes away and when you put it back it does not you have to flip it over again. And while we're on the subject, I also have this thing I picked up years ago. Yes, I did pay $18 for it at the overpriced Yankee Candle Company, but I thought it was kind of cool because when you El Flippo, it not only changes the... Um, not only sends the sand down through the timer, but it rises to the top as well, which is pretty cool. Yes. So that was it. Just wanted to show you. We, we really like these Himalayan salt lamps because they just have a really nice ambiance. That's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.